Hey folks, welcome back. Got me a little upgrade for the uh, GWIC Cloud 2 Pro 55 watt laser. Uh, I'm going to install this Fiore uh, laser nozzle. This, I saw this on the web the other day and got to looking and I've had to clean my lens a couple times and it's kind of a booger. So I got to looking around on the web and there's a couple options you can use. I saw this one. I thought this might be it. It's got a, it's got a better uh, angle on the uh, the air assist hose intake right there. It just shoots it straight down in there. And plus, it's got a little removable magnetic lid top where your lens seats in there and just sits right there. Uh, if you've taken one of these uh, these little pieces out here. It's kind of a booger and this one allows you to pop your lens off there's a couple other types like this uh, American Photonics has a setup similarly uh, and it's more of a singular piece but I think and it's got the little magnetic top like that the lens is already built in this one you can buy separate lenses or whatever and I got a little cloud ray lens off Amazon because uh, it was a little cheaper and I just want to try it out first before I go and get the uh, American Photonics lens which I'm thinking about doing uh, I haven't had any problems cutting or anything, no, uh, but this is supposed to give you a little more cut range at lower powers, maybe, I think is what they were saying. So we're going to try it out and see. Uh, I got this off of, uh, I didn't see it on the GWIC Cloud Facebook page, but the Ohmtech Polar Facebook page. Uh, I think Mr. Fiore is on that page and he had uh, the listing then this is the newest upgrade that came out all metal design he had one already previously with a, like a plastic upper I guess and then the nozzle was metal but I think he's gone through and redone the whole thing so we're going to try to put it in and see how she looks in there see if it works any better I'm pretty sure the air shooting straight down instead of the one that comes stock the air fitting goes straight into the side there and you're not going to get uh, you get a little more turbulence up into the lens area, and maybe it blowing some of the crap up in there. I don't know if it's on focus on this one, but so we'll try and see. Stand by. All right, so here's the piece we're looking at here. You see all the gunk and debris build up in there. I can't tell if that's focused or not because my eyesight ain't the greatest either. I got a piece of acrylic from the project packs that came in there so we can hopefully not lose anything and so we need to undo this locking ring under here and I think we're gonna have to move the z-axis down a little bit so we can get up in there let me get the air hose off first pull the air assist hose off and uh, I guess you can see it right there it goes straight in it angles up for the air hose to connect but uh, it goes straight up in there and I know there's a lot of junk building up on there too. Like pretty clean now. I just cleaned it recently. But yeah, so that's what we gotta get the locking ring off. We gotta get the air assist fitting off, and then it comes out through the top. And like I say, we'll have to put the Z-axis down a little lower so we can get in there and see what we're working with. Because it comes up and bumps the mirror when you try to pull it out when it's up to the regular Z setting, I guess, the home setting. So I got you off the tripod and we're going to try to do this one handed and see if we can't get this working because alright it's loose I can feel it moving yeah alright hang on let me see if I can prop it up here and not tip over on us it might work There's your air fitting. It's it's a little plastic thing. The threads are on there, and you're threading into the metal tube there, the aluminum tube. So you know that ain't gonna last long. You get one of those threads crossed in there a little bit, and you can see it's kind of it's kind of janked up there already. Maybe you can't out of focus. It's uh, it's got like an extra thread on one side, and it's cut at a terrible angle on there. So pretty soon that ain't gonna be usable. And I'm, I've heard these are hard to find. We got that one out. Let's get the 
drop our Z down a little bit. We can just turn that little screw back in the back and it'll... We can just get them in there. Alright, I dropped you, so... We'll have to rework that. <laughs> Alright, locking rings off. And there's your stock lens holder set up. See, it's a little dusty and crappy in there. The problem with these is they're glued in, so you've got to clean it from the inside. You've got to take the cap off here and then run your little swab down there, and that's not a very efficient way to clean it. But I mean, it works. It just it gets gummed up pretty quick. So. There we go. Put the other one in. I think it's just in reverse. We got to take the the nozzle off, and then we're going to drop it down through the top, I believe, in the locking ring. I don't have a tripod low enough to get in here. Sorry. <laughs> and then the locking ring is going to go on the top, or go back up, and then we'll put the air assist back on. So. All right, well, there's your three pieces. I keep knocking the camera over down in the laser bed, so we'll just have to do it by hand now. So we're gonna put this piece in. Drops in there just like normal. Put our locking ring. I guess it'll go either way. Alright, so there we got the main body of the holder in there. You see the stock locking ring. Uh, there's your magnetic ring holder on the top. Get your lens holder gets in there. I guess I need to dust that off. It's pretty dirty. And that's just about it. Just got to tighten it up. Put the uh, nozzle on. And then run the air hose back in there. And then drop our lens in. Focus is going to work. How's that? Okay, we're back after that struggle. It's not too bad, it's just uh, if you got big hands, it's a lot, a lot, not a lot of space down there. Make sure we didn't knock nothing loose, make sure air hose is back on. Fairly tight, yep, uh, still need to tighten down the nut, but there we go. Let's move back up top for laser, for the lens connection, but that's it right there. So, you see the new angle of the air blows straight down through the nozzle. Hopefully that'll keep a bunch of crap out of it. Instead of maybe swirling it up in there. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, stand by. Alright, there we are back. We got it all tightened up. Lens is in there. The little magnetic ring just pops on and off. Careful you don't knock it off in nowhere else, and then you're good to go. So there's your cleanup uh, ease right there. Pop it off, pull your lens out, swab it down, put a little alcohol on it, whatever you do, and then pop it back in there and go. Oh so yeah, that was pretty pretty painless. <clears throat> like I say, it's tight fit in there if you got uh, bigger hands like me, but. Uh, you could probably pull it out in the middle. I tried to get the lights on so we could see in there, but I had to end up using the flash. All right, so we'll do a little test cutting and see if that improves anything. But so far, 
uh, insulation was okay. And we'll try it out. Alright, well, I thought I had some video of me cutting some stuff out, but I didn't have the camera on. I just had it on camera picking, camera pictures. Anyway, uh, I started out at my normal speed, 55% power, 16 millimeters a second, and it cut good. And then I saw it had a little extra beam widening on there. And then I realized my material is a little bowed, so it was up a little bit. I weighed it down with some glass tile, and it started cutting perfectly. So then I went down uh, a couple of steps in power every time, and finally got down to 45% and cut everything except one little piece right there which might just be the wood might be some material defect but it cut everything out smoothly and cleanly and then the last one on 45 percent power which uh, I took off 10 percent uh, and then same speed it still cut pretty good so there you go Pretty impressed by that and well, let me see got my junk all in the way oh yeah there you go the Fiore design lens holder and air assist assembly upgrade for GWIC Cloud Pro 2 55 watt model all right guys thanks for watching uh, I'll get some more test cards put up and see if that shows up a little better when I try to work the camera. Otherwise, you'll have a great one and Happy New Year. We'll talk to you all later.